I'm joined now by CBS News's Wyatt Andrews Nancy. and Cece Connolly of the Washington Post. Cece, I want to start with you because you covered the summit. Did you get the sense that there are specific policies that Democrats and Republicans agree on that are going to enable real health care reform to take place? Because when I just asked the president's economic advisor, she didn't seem to be able to list anything. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, there's widespread agreement on what the problem is, and it's twofold. It has to do with access, all of those uninsured Americans, about 46 million. And it's the cost, the rising cost that is not only hitting individuals now, but it's really starting to hurt businesses and their competitiveness. And that's one of the reasons that, that this time around there's a sense that there might be a little more momentum because businesses are saying they can't handle these costs any, any longer. When you get to some possible solutions and ways to address these problems, it does become a little bit more difficult to find that instantaneous agreement. But I'll give you a couple. One is the use of uh, IT, electronic medical records. There's widespread agreement that that's a very important step for safety and long-term savings, and that's starting to move forward. Another is changing our payment system so that instead of paying doctors and hospitals for everything that they do, every test, every treatment, every surgery, we need to move to a system where we pay them to keep us well. So instead of paying per procedure, you pay for outcomes, quality of care, that sort of thing. Hmm. So there are some big areas where people are definitely coming together. And that's something that actually Senator John McCain was pushing on the campaign trail. Wyatt, you've done a number of stories about right. skyrocketing health care costs. And, you know, it goes really beyond just inefficiencies in health care, as the White House has said. There are really some tough decisions that need to be made, aren't there? Huge, Nancy. I mean, one of the things Cece said yesterday, everybody is coming around this idea that everyone has to be in. Now, Democrats frame it, this is very interesting, and, and also some big business interests, insurance company interests, as universal coverage. They believe that from a cost point of view, we're not, as a country, going to be able to afford health care reform unless everybody's in. That's how the Democrats would frame it. Listen closely and you'll hear Republicans frame this as universal access. So there's going to be a difference between everybody has to buy or is shoved to buy or everybody might be able to buy. And the difference is, is critical because it's cost. When President Obama says he wants this $634 billion fund, if you will, to, to, to jumpstart the idea of everybody being able to buy this insurance, the truth is that's a down payment. It's going to be much more. And so Republicans are raising the issue of what kind of taxes is this going to mean really? Because the idea of simply funding this with, uh, with the higher tax on rich families, that's not going to do it. Because we all know how little everyone thought Medicare would cost in the beginning, right? Exactly right. If everybody's in the pot, the president and the people who framed this plan will have to find a way for small people who work at small businesses, the, the uninsured now, the 48 million people Cece was just talking about they're going to need government help and that's going to cost a ton mm -hmm. before you get to the maybe back-end savings of right. things like prevention and reforming inefficiency. Cece, I want to ask you about uh, our poll that we uh, took a look at on Predictify.com. We asked, will a major health care reform bill be passed by Congress during President Obama's first 100 days as president? 77 percent said no, 23 percent said yes. Well, of course, we're now on about day 55 of those first 100 days and obviously the White House has some other urgent priorities it's been focused on, like the economy and housing. President Obama, however, said yesterday that he wants Congress to have a plan on his desk by the end of the year. How realistic is that? Well, it's certainly uh, still an ambitious uh, goal, no doubt about it. Health care reform is obviously very difficult, or some of these things would have been done a long, long time ago. That said, you are seeing members of Congress, especially on the Senate side, Senator Max Baucus, the chairman of the Senate Finance Committee, his ranking Republican, Charles Grassley, they have already scheduled a number of hearings starting in March and April. They say that they want to be marking up a bill this summer, have it on the Senate floor this summer. The House side, it's a little bit uh, more of a question mark if they're going to move that rapidly. The other thing that we learned this morning is that President Obama has convinced a number of governors out across the country, both Democrats and Republicans, to hold some of these town hall style meetings. Those are going to be in March and April as well. That's a way to continue to kind of keep the public pressure on Washington to really move on this. Well, it'll be so interesting to see if all the forces are aligned 
line this time around to actually get something done on health care reform. Cece Connolly of the Washington Post, Wyatt Andrews of CBS News, thanks so much for joining us.